many people were starting to say that this is the beginning of the persecution in Russia. A lot of uh, uh, prophets came up and said that there is going to be uh, a lot of persecution uh, starting and people will have to leave Russia for to different countries. But when we looked closely at the law, we saw that we could actually live with that law. In reality, the government is just trying to establish order and prevent the terrorist organizations from uh, working in Russia. Each person has a right to share their beliefs, be the religious beliefs, and so they can share the gospel, their religious beliefs, in any way or form they like. This law applies more to religious organizations than uh, individual citizens of the country. It is much more difficult, uh, is going to be for the uh, foreign missionaries. Different uh, uh, people from different countries were coming and uh, doing anything they wanted in any way they wanted. And when the terrorist organizations started using that as opportunity, that's when the law was necessary. In all the days, uh, people uh, came from different countries. Uh, as missionaries uh, using tourist visas. And they would use that and do religious work on the territory of the country. Now they will have to have a contract with a religious, existing religious organization somewhere in Russia for them to come and do work. A foreigner will have no difficulty coming to my church and preaching at my church. If our church invited him uh, officially, no problem. I think uh, that at, at this time uh, the control is necessary because there are a lot of uh, Islamic organizations that are, have been working in Russia, specifically that they are the forbidden organizations, the banned organizations. Of course there are organizations that are legal, but there are also banned organizations that are working illegally on the territory of Russia.